Hi everyone, today I wanted to set up my planner. It is um, December 23rd and I just am itching to set up my 2024. So I thought I'd film all the babies downstairs with my husband and the kids. So I'm not gonna promise it's gonna be quiet, but we have some time right now, so let's do this. So when I set it up, I usually just take up all the dashboards i can like redo all the dashboards again and i'm also gonna take out all my um what do you call that my 2023 inserts so that we can put in our 2024 i will probably leave the last um the last week of december and the monthly just so that i have something to look at when i do need it when i do go out which probably will not happen should i just take it all out take it all out right i'm not gonna need it right i do have a doctor's a dentist appointment on the 29th so this is the overview i do separate them because um i like save all my inserts so all this will be gone and this is this week so i'll save that for now i think that's it and then i'm gonna take all my dailies out except for the remaining as well leave the rest there okay have you guys set up your 2024 yet and do you guys leave your stuff in or take them all out so okay so let's continue this we had a long break lighting is all different now still taking out dashboards so for the list and stuff like that i do i usually redo it so you see a lot of them have been checked off so i'm gonna get like a whole new list page and actually rewrite it i know it's a waste but you know sometimes when you see all this it's it gets cluttered you know so i feel like i'm gonna take all this out i will leave like some of the meeting notes that are empty this one i don't need anymore but I know, please don't nick me for that. I know I'm horrible with um, taking out my stuff. So, taking all the list pages. Projects I'll leave. I'm gonna leave the dash. Uh, I'll take it out. But I do leave the, like, these, um, um, what is adhesive notes and stuff like that. So, taking this out. Um, these are all, Stuff that I need actually not all of them but some of our information and I have um, information there so I'm just gonna take it so now let's start again from the beginning so my inbox I'm still using the priority matrix but I will take this out and have this one instead so let's take some inserts already so i will add another priority matrix or should just should i just rewrite it <laughs> i do have a notes page there a couple notes pages this let's go through here i'm keeping my members access my cards still keeping the same thing i think i'm gonna change this so i send this to me he can write way better now so maybe i'll ask him to get me even though he does write me um, a love letter every time he goes to recess. He just writes mom with a heart, but it's in like a big 8.5 by 11 regular paper. So I'm not going to put it in here. Might have to ask him to make me a little small one, right? So, now that we're on our schedule, I have my horizontal weekly here and my dated daily. So obviously for the dated, I usually just put one um, month 
You know what? Where is my yearly overview? I forgot about that. Uh, oh, yep, that's not it. Did I not order one? I'm pretty sure I ordered one. Did I put it away? Let's pause. Okay, found my year overview. It was in the dashboard pile. So, again, I use my overview to write um, events that are happening in the future, like some, like it's if it's January um, and we have an appointment in July, I'll put it in July, so that when I do my monthly, it's all in one place. So, just gonna put this right here. But on the schedule, obviously, I have to put dashboards in and stuff like that. So, right there. And then, I'm going to do my monthly. So, I know the weeklies and the dailies have a monthly. I'm just going to do the weekly for now. I love the pop and paper incorporated the monthlies in, um, in their inserts because I feel like monthly is very something we all need right so I'm gonna take this out just because it's an extra paper maybe I'll put it somewhere else and I will put this year at a glance right here <coughs> excuse me and then this um holidays right behind each other and then for the January, right here. So there's the monthly. I think I'm gonna have all the months already. So let me just take out all the months. And let's see how thick this will be. So it's February now. Do you guys like putting all your months together or do you like putting like the whole like monthly, weekly and dailies in the same area? Like, you know, all of January in one area and then all of them. Um, February so I like all my month in one area and then put my wait did I just put all the weekly hold on it's hard to talk in <laughs> and um do a little this so April I'll go through it again I love that they separated it but I do like my months together, my weeklies together. I think I've said that before. And then my um, dailies together. Okay, so I love that the coffin papers was um, um, separated their monthly so that we could separate it too if you wanted to. Let me know how you guys put your planner together. Bye. Getting thick. August. I still can't believe it's 2024. 2023 literally flew by for our family. We had a lot of health pickups and we were in the hospital a lot of like, not a lot of months, but like it was a couple of weeks. So it was. No, no, it took all of our summer, so everything just flew by after that, you know? All the holidays, forget it. October. I think this is my favorite part, is like setting up planners. Like, I have to do this as a job. <laughs> November.
Oh my gosh, she's so thick already. So that's just my monthly. So this is the weekly. Right? I just want to see. Yep, January weeklies. And we still have our dailies, but I also want to do the dailies for January. If we can fit it all, right? So I put this here. Me. And I just put it back in the pocket and have it in my little caddy so whenever the month changes or yeah, whenever the month changes I have access to it. There she is. And now I'm gonna go through the daily and I'm just gonna get to this January um, January um daily. gonna be a lot too. Let's see. I'll leave the notes. No, I can't leave the notes pages so. There you go. And again, just keep it. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is for January monthly. Now I'm curious how the sizing of the. This is my little this is the um cp petite i was trying to see if i can maybe like do some surgery and fit my personal monthly in there but i don't think that's gonna work since i have two monthlies and don't really don't need to right but i do need one for my cp okay, try the doctor one. okay so that's done so some of my notes pages, like I said, I was gonna rewrite it, but I did take up some um, some insert already. Let's see which one I got. Oh no, that's not it. Let's just track around my hand. So I love my reading log. So I'm definitely keeping that for 2024. So I have some project management here. That I like to put some in. I need some meeting notes. I think this is such a great, um, you know, project. You know what this is great for too is um, inbox. Like you put your inbox here, maybe things that are um, urgent, maybe like write it in here. Hmm. But it is like this in the back. I will include two of these in the back here. Oh, I have some. Oh, I have these kinds. Okay. And definitely some list pages. So I'm going to get some list. And I just have some purchase trackers. So I'm going to just quickly put this in my finances okay so i'm not gonna get the list pages because i have my caddy on top of all my inserts so i don't want to do that right now but i will play with some dashboards so let's see i want to change the cover but i like having this inbox here because it's like a plastic material and i won't have to scratch up all my stuff here I have a lot of dashboards that I'm playing I still like the bibliophile, but I don't know if I can keep that. So I'm just to clean. I like this too. Cute. 
funny little fact. I don't know if I said it, but I used to play tennis. Love tennis. For I played for four years in high school, and um, my son was getting into it. But our school doesn't offer tennis. But I am was like teaching him during like the summer, and I can't wait to like for him to get into it for the in high school, so that me and him can play together. I'm so excited about that. All these dashboards, I'm so excited. So like I said, my husband from New York is from New York, so I love the New York theme right there. I don't want my foot color to be too dark either. I want it to be a little light. circle with the half circle in box as well cute I said I was gonna order another one of these which I have for the member access oh, I have this in box maybe that's something new Feeling this cream. because of my books and stuff. I need to clean this. Let's see. Mm. These are one of my favorite dashboards. Again, it's never a quiet house here. I have like three boys and a girl. And it's just, you know. This reminds me of Gucci. Well, and finances I really like this and I haven't used it so let's see this and it's like green like money Can you make me another one like that? Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. 
Okay, this one is hard to layer, I feel like. Oh, I know. My floors. What did you know? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. I have a little color. I don't know. I'm not sold. It's like this is the fun part, right? Trying out different layers and looking at all your dashboards. I might even just do a, let's see, and I'm just going to leave it like that. So during Black Friday, I actually got these um, plain dividers from um, infinite Lotus and this is where I'm going to do yearly, monthly, um, weekly, and daily. So let's just do the yearly overview right here. I'm going to put it right there. And actually what I'm going to do is snip it because I was using these and all the today overview. I don't mind the overview but we can just make it all nice and um, simple and I like on the top, right? So I'm gonna sniff this for easy um, in and out, right? I don't know if you guys know this, but um, a ring's um, trick is cutting the holes so that they act like disc and you can just pop them in and out. Sometimes I kind of like doing it tilted so it's not as easily um, it doesn't easily pop. You would have to like, you know, take it off. Okay. So I'm not going to label them just yet. But, so this will be my, see how you just kind of press it like that. Um, so that's my yearly overview. Then my monthly. And I do it right on the month. So as soon as I tab it, you know, as soon as I go in that tab, it's already where the page I want to be. So this is my weekly. I feel like there's going to be so much notes pages now. And I might just label this as like um, YM for monthly, um, W for weekly, and D for daily since the tabs are very tiny. sticky notes to that should I do the other new I feel like I need new everything and since I have it why not right there's my inbox it's not as cute as this one it's a little bit more simple I'm sorry I'm just going to do all the stuff that I wanted to incorporate but when I bought this Black Friday, and I just have so much dashboards. Right here. Why not? So as much as I love layering, I don't want to like put so much. You know, like it's all dashboards. I think I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put dashboards in my monthly, or should I? I don't know yet. Oh. oh, I love a new glass dashboard. How cute. Definitely gonna change these out. Everything's getting taken out. Oh, and I did take out some meeting notes and list pages. So, 
So, um, before I had the sesame, um, like this, but as you can tell, it's a little bit more yellow than like cloth and paper, and I didn't like that it's a different color. So, I'm going with these note pages for my list for now, and it's gonna be list for books, list for like places we want to go and stuff like that. So, I'm gonna need more than one, two, three more. I want my books in the front a little bit more, so I'm gonna put the meeting notes in the back. Right, let me get some more meeting notes. Okay. So these are just the lines notes. Um, there's another one like this, but it's. Uh, These are the, the task. Yep, task flowers. So this one you can like check off, which I do like it. But I feel like the lines here are tinier, so I could definitely put more, um, like you know, the books and stuff like that. I could definitely put more books instead of like taking up a lot more space. So that was the reasoning behind my my decision. So I'm gonna put like two more because I love to list different random things too. Okay, dramas I had there, movies to watch, restaurants and places to go and stuff like that. I love to list one more. <laughs> can never have enough, right? And you can always just transfer it to another part of your planner as well because yeah, you can never have that enough of that. So I'm definitely not gonna be using these this year. So today today I'm gonna take that these appointment because we need those. Let me check these actually. So to do, I'm gonna see if I need those later. I can I can still include them in the platter. Yeah. So if you can see it, I snip these two because these um tabs I always like move around in my planner. Appointments, you know, I need that information. Okay. So this is actually an appointment already for my for January, but I will put that down. I'm always gonna need appointments in my overview because I, I don't like I like writing it neatly. And I'll put some here, some memo. I had this because I ran out of space. And should I do another appointment? You can never have enough appointments. And this is actually a couple of appointments. Yep, all of them. So for my weeklies or my monthly, I could just write. I could just do a to do here. This one is from Papery Planning. I just don't want to waste those, you know. And definitely gonna put this here. You can never have enough note pages for my weeklies. Here. And my dailies. I feel like I need to let big oblong ones. Let me just put my cloth up here. I can't wait to get the little oblong ones. I'm gonna put two. Sometimes I do like to list things.
Are you applying it downstairs? Come on, buddy. So I don't want to put this here. Do or do I? Oh, gonna like it. But then it's covering it. So in the back here, I had information about my my um, my kids. Um, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. My kids like teachers and stuff like that. And I was thinking of using these. But I feel like there's a lot of information. Let me see. Or maybe should I just keep it, right? Because I'm just going to keep it. So these are like in a notes pages. I don't want to show it. Let me see. Yeah, I don't want to show it, but in the notes pages, just like um, this. But it's like actually the task. But I have like doctors. And then I have their um, primary, their dentist. Shh. I'm do I have their... God. So I have my part, their primary doctor's information and then their fo the phone number, the address and stuff like that. Um, so I have a whole list of like PCM, dentist, dermatologist, allergist, and eye doctor. And so I also have in the back like me and my husband's um, um, doctors. And then on the next page I have my kids um, teachers. So I think I'm just gonna keep these because nothing's changed and, and nobody wanna rewrite all this. <laughs> so I keep it in the finance section even though it's not a finance section. And I'm just gonna sneak it in there. I will do a flip of this after. And I still wanna do like all the um like sticky notes and stuff like that. I feel like this is like too plain. So this inbox, I'm going to take this off now. Dashboards. <laughs> Good. Oh, I need dashboards here, right? Yep. She just thought I wanted to clean. Okay, so I'm just gonna add this layering moment here. I am creating the life of my dreams with the New York Scape, both from Infinite Lotus. Now I'm just gonna get, so this is where my weekly starts, but I don't really access this page unless I'm in the tab section, you know? I mean, my monthly. So I'm not gonna add a divider there. I mean, a dashboard. My dailies. So here's a question for you guys. Do you put your dashboard in front of your dividers or behind it? I've done everything like one in front, one in back, and just in the front, but I never saw it. So I would just do the back now. So when you turn the page, you're always on it. I feel like this is too plain. I think I need more into it something more 
just don't know what to get. Oh, I love this one too. That's why you need a lot of dividers because then you, you can have more. Put one here too. Just because I like this. We'll add some clothes later. Still minimal. Right, still having issues with this one. It's hard to layer things that have words in the middle because you don't want to block it, but. but most of the vellums are already, you know, the words are in the middle. Oh my god, I still have so much dividers that needs to be used. This may be cute. If I added this too, because I kind of want more. My layerings are a little boring right now. stuff like that. I'll be right back. I gotta like clean up the desk a little bit just so I can access my cards. All right, I got my archive box from the cloth and paper. This is where I pretty much have all my, oops, sorry, journaling cards. So I'm just gonna go right through them, see which it's my 2024 mood. I love this one. This one is from Rosie Puppetry. I haven't made um, my word of the year yet. This is editor's note. 
not sure what the word of the year for me is yet, actually. But I will keep this here because I will fill that out and I will definitely pack it in here. I don't think I have this much here. So I'm just gonna put this in here. So I love that one. I like that one too. I also love this. Love this. Love this too. So I want to create like a bag, big bag. Hi to you too. Hello. Oh, Hello. <laughs> yes. There's too much to go through here. Girl. I love the letters and stuff like that, so. I love this too. Trust the process. Okay. I feel like this is too much to go through right now. as my word and this just I feel like confirmed it take this out put these in I might take this out too I think this is so cute. I hope I don't ruin this, but I think I'm going to add like a sticker to layer them. I don't know if I want to use the magnet because if maybe I will. Mm 
Okay, we'll just do a little one like this. Something to keep it in place, but not. I love the layers and stuff like that, but I also like to keep it like nice and neat. I was gonna add like a sticker, but then I'm like, I don't want to ruin my journal card. I don't have a lot of these two actually, so I know so I have some little bubbles that I wouldn't mind like you know taping up and stuff, but not that one. So I think I am. Oh wait, I wanted to add like a little thing, my Lux page flags. Let me see. So I have these for now. And I feel like I use record a lot. And I like the color. This used to be fixed like by sizes but haven't had a chance to fix it again so it looks like a hot mess right now but I will fix it before the new year I hope okay so a little flip so again I'm using the Cortado from cloth and paper foundations planner just this is from Rosie Purple Tree um, and this is Rosie Purple Tree and everything else is cloth and paper on this page I have the word of the year here I get an editor's note where I will write um, word of the year and I love this thing so much. I have a clear first mat clear transparent sticky note, which I will just probably put one on and whoops. Just gonna take one of these. Yeah, but one like this. Let's see, should I put it over editors now? So that's not quite centered. Like that, and then I'll write my word right there. But I was thinking of it being abundance, abundant, abundance, or abundant. Still have to look into it, so I'm just gonna keep that there for now. So this is my inbox this is um from the last call so if you want this i would definitely grab it <coughs> it's a crystal clear um inbox dashboard the c dashboard from cloth and paper this is from infinite lotus this is from cloth and paper this is from cloth and paper this is cloth and paper pretty much most things are cloth and paper. This too um, is from February Planning. This is cloth and paper. And this cloth and paper as well. This is the inbox um, dashboard. 
or tab from cloth and paper and I have these from cloth and paper. I do have this, I don't know which layer I put it in. Must have been here. This um, graph um, sticky note. I like having it there just like as a guidance, but yeah. This is going to be my inbox, which is the priority matrix. Um, I've been using it for a couple months now and I'm loving it so far. Um, I do use the square page marker to you know, um, some detail, some more detailed stuff. So I'm going to keep that there. And then I just have some note pages there. Um, for my outbox, I have these two dashboards from Cloth and Paper. This um, angled folder for the Cloth and Paper from the sub box. And I just have like my member access and so my COVID card. I don't even think we need that anymore, but I still have it there. Um, but this is where I keep all my member access um, cards. So if I need to go back into something I can always look in, look it up so this is from cloth and paper I did have this in the last one but I don't think I need it right now so I'm just gonna have to take that out <coughs> this is cloth and paper as well this is schedule um, I'm using essential um, dividers from cloth and paper they are coming out with a slimmer version so I'm definitely copying that um, but I love the essential dividers. Um, there are three of a, there's three of the sections, and I feel like sometimes you know um, you don't need as much sections, but maybe little tabs, you know. So I love the essential dividers. There you go. So in my schedule, I just have some sticky notes. Again, both are from cloth and paper. So. If you're a doctor's office or out and you need to jot down a future um, schedule, you could just jot it down real quickly in these sticky notes, like an appointment or whatever. This is good. So, yeah, I like these like graph ones. It's just um, it's supposed to keep it nice and lined up. Mm -hmm doesn't always happen, you know? I always have the appointment um, sticking note everywhere because I have so much appointment with between my kids, my husband, myself. We have a lot of appointments. I have the new one as well, but um, just had this one and it's actually kind of messy, but I'm just gonna keep it. We're not wasting anything here. These two dividers are from Infinite Lotus. And so my plan goes into the yearly overview where I write down future plans. Um, I don't write my monthly until we're ready. And what I did with the previous year is I had birthdays on top and all the events underneath. And I already had a January from my um, from my last, well, from the previous, um, not insert, but obviously planned ahead of time was um, have I'm in charge of snacks for soccer's, soccer players. And I just wrote it down, so I'm carrying it over until I fill this out. Which I'm probably going to fill out in like a couple of days. More appointments. Um, these top tabs are from Infinite Lotus. More appointments, more memos, because these fill out quickly. I don't know if you guys saw real quick my overviews but they fill out so fast because there's a lot of changes to you know so and I have my year at a glance here which I actually want to note so I'm going to have one of my page flags here and I don't want to lose this page so I'm just going to do noted right here and also the holidays. And what I did last year is write my um, kids schedule, like in the fall here and then in the year, there, the next year. So I might do that again, but I also kept their like, school schedule up here I'm in the back, back pocket. So it's not a big deal if I don't write it down, you know? So 
coming into January, I have my monthly already. This again is um, from Infinite Lotus. So I'm just gonna take this out and we'll fill this in. Hopefully I could do a monthly um, plan with me with you guys. Um, like I wanna do all this stuff with you guys. It's just that it's hard. As you can see, it's very loud already in here. So I have all my monthlies in one section. And then I will have my weekly in the next section. So I don't actually separate them. I just have it as tabs. So it goes right on the um, week that we're on. So if, um, it's already the middle of the week uh, in, um, this is December. Oh, so I had December still. Look at that. So I put my January for December. So if you were in, since I'm still planning in this week. So we, if we were in the middle of the month of January, I would actually have this tab over here instead of the beginning of my week is if that made sense you know so all of this will be all jumbled up because i don't really need to look back and if i do um then i'll flip but the thing is i need to know where i am in the week you know so this will be i'm in december and i'm in this week And then I'm going right into dailies. So I'm still in this daily. And I already have January right behind it. <coughs> and then for notes and lists, I said I was gonna. Um, oh, wait, I just wanna show you guys. This is Rosie Preparatory. Oops, got to put this in. This is Rosie Puppetry cloth and paper, cloth and paper. So in my notes, I'm just gonna put like um, books to read, movies to watch, restaurants to try, places to go, like kids' places or towns to visit. Um, yeah, but I also have my a lot of extra notes and my reading log which is definitely something i will be hi baby <laughs> so i'm gonna just tab that up with um let's see reminder maybe i think i used reminder last time as well but we'll do the black one this time what are you doing? And I'm just gonna do it in the middle here. Okay, you can have one. Here, you can have one. She took one of mine. This is fine. So last time I had it as a monthly, and this time I'm just gonna um, read it. I'm probably not even gonna get here, but we will try. I am in number, book number 20 right now. Let me just stick this out a little bit more. There you go. And here I also have some project inserts. Okay, let's put that away. Let's put that away. Thank you. Thank you, Kimmy. Thank you, baby. Good job. And I just have some project inserts, some more different... Um, inserts some meeting notes because i always like um want to have meetings with the teachers or any other phone calls with doctors and stuff i like to take notes in the meeting notes so with finances oh, i have this sticky note from cloth and paper and i have this blooming wild and tame and full of life from noted co i'm gonna link all the um, shops below this is from cloth and paper these two and i have a purchase tracker here and those are the inf in, um, doctors and teacher information that so i have in the back yeah. 
And I also have this, um, let me um, take it out. This um, hard plastic journal card holder. So I actually use this as um, like a page lifter and I actually just made it. It's like a, like a plastic. like a plastic material that I just punch holes and then attach like um adhesive sticky notes that are journaling card sizes. <laughs> you can't have that baby. <laughs> and so yeah I just made it so, just so the pages won't um fold um in the back. But also in the back is I have this paper panda no actually Lucy Plan Life um sticky note which is um divided into six and i just keep all our all of our medications in there for easy access because um my family takes a lot of medications and you know when you're at the doctor's office they always ask like oh what are you taking what are you know and so i just have that list so in the back here i just have like um some school calendar their ccd calendar and I have a bunch of um, notepads here in different forms. Um, I've said in my older uh, older videos that um, I write down all the appointment questions and put this in my outbox so when I'm at the doctor's office, I can always just ask them and have my questions ready. Someone's ready for a nap. And this is from... Um, Paper test designs, but I got a new one from Hawaiian Han as a thank you card. So I'm going to use this year to um, keep track of my cycle. And that's it. I hope you guys like this messy, loud and crazy planner setting up, um, set up for 2024. We're going to say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, bye.